Hello Taurus. Welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. If you're new, please consider subscribing. My channel is still pretty new. So, I mean, I did just make a, a thousand subscribers. Yay! Thank you to everybody who subscribed. I'm still celebrating. It's a big milestone uh, to get a thousand subscribers in a YouTuber's uh, career here. Um, so yeah, please consider subscribing. Also, for those of you who are new and don't know, I'm also an author. I'm writing an action-adventure love story on superhero twin flames. It's called Perception, the two yet one, book one here. I read book one aloud live on Facebook, and I've uploaded all of those videos here to YouTube for you to enjoy for absolutely free. If you've already read book one or watched all those videos, know that book two is published and available. These beautiful, very well-made paperbacks are available on Kindle Direct Publishing for only $15.99 each, plus shipping. If you have Amazon Prime, your shipping will be free. Okay, so we're still celebrating spring, because it is still spring. Um, and I was going to change my tarot deck, but because of the passing of Prince Philip of the, uh, of the United Kingdom, I'm going to stick with this deck this week. This is the Forest of Enchantment Tarot by Linnea Weatherstone and uh, illustrated by Marela Allwood. Um, the, the forests that they are concentrating on in this tarot are the UK forests. Uh, in particular, the forests in England, um, where Marela, who is a native, uh, lives on the outskirts of one of these awesome forests. It's where we get a bunch of our um, fairy tales and such. So, um, you know, I, I pray for Prince Philip. I pray for his soul. And uh, in honor of the uh, United Kingdom losing him, we're going to stick with this um, with this feeling here. Okay. And so we're going to continue to pull from the Oracle of the Fairies by Karen Kay and artwork by Ginger Kelly. And then we will also get at least one card from the Botanical Inspirations by Lynn Araujo and illustrated um, by the famous painter Pierre Joseph Redoute, who painted for Marie Antoinette and Empress Josephine. We will also, if I need to clarify, I'm going to use um, my tiny writer tarot deck. It's so cute that I got through a miracle. If you would like to know the story of that miracle, I did a video on it. And uh, the link for that is in the description box below. In fact, you can find links for my books in the description box below to purchase them. Um, all the links to watch me read book one aloud. Um, uh, if you would like a personal reading, I also offer those, okay? So, as um, a reader, I read minor arcana cards as messages about your free will and major arcana cards as messages about your divine blueprint. Your divine blueprint is the plan that you wrote for your own life before you incarnated so that you would encounter and hopefully learn certain poignant lessons of life that, when learned, raise the vibration of your soul. As you go raising the vibration of your soul each lifetime after a lifetime, you eventually get to a lifetime where you are able to reach enlightenment. So when it comes to your major arcana cards, we're dealing with um, fate in a way, but not really um, because of free will. Free will can change a whole lot. You can choose not to learn this lesson and that just means it comes back over and over again into your life until you learn it or sometimes it goes away and you just have to reincarnate to learn that one okay now there are times when we cannot change something because we wrote it into our divine blueprint that way that is indicated by the wheel of fortune uh, you do not have that in your spread but you do have it at the bottom of the deck so we'll describe that in a minute here okay so, let's get to it. At the heart of everything for you at this time, Taurus. Um, this could be your energy or you're in this energy uh, of uh, someone else. This is the weaver of challenges, okay? Now, 
in this particular deck, we don't read reversals. They don't have reversals, but a pre people card like this, which is basically a queen, okay? The pages, the knights, the kings, the queens, those are people cards. So those do have shadow traits. So when they're upside down like this, I've got shadow traits to read to you, okay? I've read this entire book. You know, it's not hard to read. It's a really beautiful book. I love this tarot so much. Um, changing the tarots that I use, the tarot decks that I use, um, help me to intuitively change the messages that you get. So there is, uh, this week I feel like I was led to use this tarot again for a reason, for many, many, many reasons. And, um, the imagery that comes in these tarots, I mean, people put a lot of work into these tarot decks and the imagery is behind them, and so I like to work with those energies. So this is cold, emotionally withdrawn, overly critical, sarcastic, touchy, unhappiness disguised as aloofness, and bitter grief, okay? So this is, uh, if this is not a particular person, though, it can signify a cynicism about personal relationships, a barrier being raised against you, or a time when uncomfortable truths need to be spoken, okay? So there could be an air sign, a feminine air sign in your life since challenges is the sword. Swords is air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. However, this mature feminine air energy is in the reverse, okay? So all those things that I just read to you are the, the feeling behind this. Now, there could be an air sign feminine in your life. This is what's at the heart of everything going on for you at this time. Okay, this is what you're dealing with. It's this type of energy. Now, the next energy that we read crosses that. And here we have another feminine energy. Okay. Now, this is uh, the nine of boons. Now, boons is pentacles, so this is your energy along with uh, uh, Capricorn and Virgo, okay? Now, these are always read right side up when they cross an energy. This is the, uh, the feminine uh, independent energy. This is the, uh, okay, this is a brownie. Okay, and brownies were mostly found or are mostly found in the cities, but this or her brownie uh, family anyway, they live in the city, but she decided that she wanted to live out in the forest and she wanted to live out in the forest all by herself. She doesn't need anyone else. She's independent. She has every single thing that she needs. In other tarot decks, this is an opulent woman that, um, and, and it represents the feminine energy. I, I don't do gender here on this channel, okay? This is simply energy. You could be a man in this uh, feminine, it's just that your feminine energy is in this place and, in, and is what is uh, uh, the focus at this time could be your feminine energy, or you could, you know, you know, it, do, it just, there's men and women out there that identify uh, with these energies differently. Like a woman could be more masculine and a man could be, uh, identify more as feminine. It just depends. Okay. So just energy wise, but this is more feminine energy. So this is like uh, aloof, unhappy, cranky energy. And this is a happy, abundant, independent energy. Okay. But the thing that is the same for both of these energies is they're both strong-minded feminines, strong-willed feminines. Of course she is. She's a queen. She's not in her best energy at this time. Um, now, this energy is not a queen. She is the uh, just um, like a, a very well-off woman, um, feminine energy that, uh, God, why did I say woman again? For some of you, this you could definitely be a woman, okay? This energy is uh, independent. She doesn't need anyone. And she's happy. The only thing that she doesn't have, though, is a counterpart. 
she uh, in, in the other decks, you'll see that she's very opulent. You know, she's not a queen. She's not the empress. But this is the basis of empress energy. You, uh, the empress uh, begins at being strong-minded, strong-willed, and independent and happy being independent. So, you know, whether you're a man or a woman, if you are uh, like this, if you are um, abundant and happy uh, independently, that is the energy you put out into the world. That is what comes back to you because whatever energy you put out into the world uh, is what comes back to you, okay? So um, it could be that you might have uh, been feeling like this and this is what you're shooting for, or this could be a person in your life who's feeling like this and this is what you're trying to show them since you're um, earth energy. You may be trying to teach this feminine about being independent or this is a very interesting energy to have. A, a queen who's not in her best energy crossed by a, a non-queen, the, the beginnings of the empress energy. Okay, now I get it. Okay, so what this is, is this energy is being transformed. This, this energy is being transformed so that it can reach empress status. This is the energy that's at the root of everything. And whoa, what do we have again? Okay, this is another feminine energy. She's in the reverse. This is the seeker of spells. Okay, now seekers are knights. Okay, but this is a female here in this picture. Um, spells are wands. So this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is Sagittarius energy in particular. However, this is in reverse. Let me tell you something about Sagittarius energy. Sag Sagittarius energy is all about freedom. The, the Sagittarius is the uh, free spirit. Okay? So this Seeker is also a strong-minded, strong-willed feminine. She's out in the middle of the forest all by herself. She's unafraid. Do you see her have any kind of weapon? No. I mean, she's got a torch, okay? But she's out in the middle of the enchanted forest by herself at night. She fears nothing. She is comfortable. You know what I mean? She's independent. She's unafraid. However, she's in her reversed energy. So she is a knight. So she is a people card. And we will check her out. Okay, see? Seeker of spells. Shadow traits. Impulsive. Would rather apologize than ask permission. Easily bored headstrong, and willful, okay? So this is what is at the root of everything. Um, it could be a fire sign, but holy moly, it is definitely a feminine, okay? Um, so you've got, <laughs> you've got earth, air, and fire here, okay? Um, Yeah, you do have one water. Okay, so you do have uh, everything, all the elements that you need, all the energy that you need. Um, I do always see if you've got earth, air, fire, and water in a, in a reading to see if there's anything that you are missing. However, you know, in Capricorn's reading, something different happened where um, they didn't have challenges. They didn't have sword energy, but that was because they weren't supposed to. And that was the first time that ever happened. But um, so this is, you do have all the energy that you need at this time. Okay, but look at this. Okay, so I, I just feel like there's, there's a person who is not in their 
highest energy here. They are a queen. They're on their way to being the empress. Uh, you're the empress, Taurus. You and Libra. Okay, so the queen of uh, swords here, the queen of challenges, can also be Libra. But here's the thing. You, you've got an air sign, a fire sign, and then your earth sign here. All together with this one uh, idea of an independent feminine. It starts out with a shadow trait independent feminine. And a, a, a shadow trait independent feminine is also what's at the root. What is crossing it here is this happy independent feminine. While these two are in their shadow traits. So this is really interesting here. Um, I kind of feel like you're trying to communicate this idea to this person or to yourself, okay? It just, it depends. You, you may have this air sign and a fire sign that is, that are not working together and you're trying to make peace perhaps, okay? By um, preaching or not preaching, but teaching uh, this independent happy energy perhaps, We'll see. If I need to clarify, I will. But let's keep going. Normally, if I just keep going, it, it, it tells me exactly what it's saying here. Now, this is the energy that's moving out of your life at this time. And this is the Seven of Challenges, which would be the Seven of Swords. Air energy again, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. This is more Aquarius. Um, this is in the reverse. Okay. So what this means is uh, some sort of uh, deception or somebody trying to get away with something. And you can see here that's exactly what these magical foxes are trying to do. These um, poor innocent traveler folks over here just trying to get catch some Z's inside their home there. And, uh, they put away their food. They've taken the, the pot of whatever they were cooking off of the fire, thinking then that's what the wild animals in that forest want. They have no idea that these are... These, this is an enchanted forest, and these are uh, magical foxes that uh, the reason, it says so in the book, that the reason this fox is getting this, this teacup is because it already has the matching saucer, and it's really excited to have both of them. Who knows why this one wants this, this musical instrument here, and who knows what's inside this bag, but these are definitely not the types of foxes that these folks were trying were thinking they were coming against so there's a deception going on here somebody trying to get away with something okay but this is the energy uh, that is moving out of your life so I think there was some sort of deception that was trying to happen somebody was trying to get away with something but it didn't manifest maybe somebody was stopped okay sometimes this has uh, a lot to do with self-deception like, you know, travelers um, have often uh, read tarot. Maybe they knew that this was an enchanted forest. And they, um, maybe what they did is they, they realized it at this moment and they came outside and got their stuff back because this didn't fully manifest. Okay, this was stopped. So that's really good. I like to see that. It could be that this air energy person was trying to get away with something or something, uh, somebody was trying to get away with something against this air energy person, perhaps. Okay. The next two cards here for me as a reader are future cards. One may happen before the other one. I'm not sure, but I have to just start talking. Uh, this is the three of spells. Okay. So the spells is wands energy more fire energy aries leo sagittarius energy this is manifestation this is sending things you're in in uh, sending your intentions out to manifest what you want to come back in in other tarot decks this is uh, a merchant who is uh, watching his ships come in because they he sent those ships out full of his merchandise and now they're coming back in um, full of the money, you know, um, it's, it's a manifestation. Okay. Now wands are often 
um, connected to career. You may be trying to manifest a new career. You may be trying to manifest um, a new beginning, something that's that you're passionate about, something magical here. This is I'm feeling magic a lot for you guys. Like before um, I started, I was I was led to put this stone out. This is called Merlinite. Yeah, I, I think there's a lot of magic going on with you guys. You guys are trying to use your life energy, the stones' energy, earth, air, fire, water, all of the energy available to you to manifest the life that you want. Um, especially if you're not new here uh, to this channel or if you are not new to um, being on the spiritual path. You're um, now, but the three here is uh, is telling me that you're kind of at the beginning of it, though, because this is only a three. Um, you want you're trying to manifest a, a life you can be more passionate about. Um, you're trying to manifest something that has to do possibly with three people. I mean, like I said here, we've got this queen, we've got a knight, and then we've got like a regular um, earth sign here, you know, not a queen or a knight, just um, somebody who's a happy, independent, feminine energy. Um, Somebody trying to get away with something that was foiled that they didn't get away with, which is really awesome. All right. Well, here's your next future card here. And this is the five of boons. Okay. So, you know, the, the first thing. Now, this is in reverse. So I would say that this is manifesting energy. For some of you, that could be true. But what I saw right away when I looked at this is actually the reversed meaning this is um, the reversal of this card, okay? So this card is all about the um, lack mentality, okay? These, these four young boys were abandoned in the forest by their parents, and um, it's snowing, and they, they're so sad, and they're stuck in this sadness um, so much that they're just concentrating on each other, how they have hardly anything to eat, and they're not looking around, okay? If they looked around, um, they would see these magical strawberries growing in the snow behind them. And if they turned around, they would have food right away. If they continued to eat this, these foods, they, these foods, these berries, they would be led to this, you know, friendly looking home. That's probably their soul family. Maybe you know, there's people in there that um, are looking for or who wouldn't mind bringing in a couple of young boys into their family and making them part of theirs. Um, but the thing here is while this is um, the cup is half empty, um, I just feel like maybe what you, you're doing is you're, you're trying to get to where the, cap, the cup is half full. You're... Like, I feel like for most of you, you're, you're trying to not be in this lack mentality anymore. You, um, you, you want to manifest good things with your energy. Okay. So it could be also that since this is kind of the merchant's card of, uh, manifesting, uh, you know, like the merchant sends his ships out to bring back the money well, then you won't be poor anymore. You won't be in poverty anymore. And you won't be in that lack consciousness anymore. Okay. Um, not that you will get out of your lack consciousness simply because you have more money. No, you have to get out of lack consciousness by being grateful for everything that you have. You think this one, this witch here is um, complaining that she only has three walnut shells? To do this with or three candles no she's she is um understanding that great things will come back to her just by these little walnut shells and a couple of candles okay she she knows that this is going to come back to her big time 
And so I feel like you're, de, you're, you're learning to get around this lack mentality. This is your own energy as well. And especially if you're the one who's trying to teach these people here how, how to not live in lack mentality, how to live in abundance mentality, how to be happy even if you, you know, you're all by yourself. How to have everything that you need, you know, whether you have anybody helping you or not. So I, I these are really great future cards. Um, yeah, I'm starting to th see there's three. This three of spells is telling me there's three people here. Yeah, I'm feeling this is this is three people. Okay. Now, <sighs> this is your hope. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> oh, whatever. Um, oh, okay. So you're hoping for... Hello. Hello. Come on in. All right. This is your hope card. This is the Huntsman. So in, um, in the regular tarot, this would be justice. Okay? Like I was saying earlier, um, this could be Libra. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy is challenges, is swords energy. Yet here you've got this straight up Libra as well. So it could be that um, this is all about a Libra. So, yeah, so this is justice. This is balance. This is equilibrium. This is integrity. This is truth, okay? That's what justice is. Uh, and now instead of Lady Justice sitting there uh, with her sword and her scales, what we've got is the Huntsman. And that's because he's like an equalizer. He has the integrity of the Justice card. He understands justice. He d is not just a hunter. He is also, he feels responsible for the forest. He's got his hand on this mother doe here and what that is signifying is that he knows not to shoot mothers uh with with uh fawns you know because they need to raise their fawns and so that next year or the year after one day this fawn may grow up and he may you know shoot a great that as a stag or something and and so he knows the the huntsman knows that there's this circle the the circle of life okay and so he evens it out he is the guy that if he finds an uh, a baby or injured animal he's going to care for it and he's going to release it or you know if there's a baby animal uh, he may keep it as a pet this is how he's equalizing. He, he'll save a life. He will, um, that's how he brings justice. You know what I mean? He, he balances out what he does. Yes, he hunts. Yes, he kills animals, but he also saves them. And that is the, his integrity. That is his, uh, the balancing of what he does. Okay? And it, it is just. It is good. It is truthful. Okay. So there, this also, though, um, could represent something like litigation. Okay. You may be hoping um, for, but you know what? I don't, unless somebody was trying to get away with something that you would need to go to, through litigation for, um, I'm feeling mostly that this is personal uh, issues that people are learning here. And, but I feel like if you're hoping for justice, um, you know, my goodness, maybe this seven of challenges that was stopped, okay, somebody trying to get away with something, it was stopped, maybe now it's time for um, the law to step in and equalize that. Maybe that's why these two energies here are in reverse, because it was um, such a, a low vibration that it brought their vibration down. Okay, so here is um, what is your environment or uh, your state of being. And here we've got the keeper of spells. Okay. 
Um, so this is one's energy again. Okay. And the keepers are kings. So this is the king of wands. Um, so the knight that we have here, I think these are the same person. This could be a fire sign or somebody that is uh, portraying these fire sign traits. Okay, now I think what happened here is since this is at the root of it all and it's uh, a knight, this could even be two fire signs. This could be a Sagittarius and this could be a different Sag. Um, it could either be a, an Aries or a Leo because, you know, there's three fire signs. But this one in particular is Sagittarius. Now, it could be that uh, th this person, if this is one person, if this is one fire sign or one person in this fiery energy, um, the, the, the root of it all is, is maybe they weren't acting like the king or queen that they actually are. Remember, no gender. But now... Maybe now they are, even though they're still in this reversed energy. Now they're being represented by a king instead of a knight. And notice how the gender doesn't matter. Okay, so this, let me go ahead and read you the shadow traits of the keeper of spells. And he is um, hot-tempered, vain. Uh, egocentric, arrogant, doesn't like to share his toys, ignores the rules, and is autocratic. Okay? That is what's going on here. Um, yeah, you know, I don't think this is you. I don't, I mean, there could be some of you who are feeling like this right now, but you know what, Taurus? Uh, you guys are pretty even tempered. You are earth. You're very grounded. So, I, yeah, I think that this is uh, probably a fire sign in your life that is acting like this. Uh, it could be somebody very close to you, like a, like a brother or a sister. You know, even though she is um, a, a feminine, a, a knight is still... I don't know, it just seems more, it seems very masculine as well. Now, here is your fear card, okay? So this is the seven of visions, which would be the seven of cups. Most of the time, it means confusion, okay? So this kind of is exactly what that is. This is a lot of choices. This is uh, confusing, like what do I choose? Interestingly enough, you see this flower right there? All right, this is the flower that this knight uh, is, is what she's doing here. Let me just describe this. Since this came up, I'm feeling like I need to describe this flower for you here. This knight of this uh, knight of wands here, the seeker of spells, uh, she knew that there was an enchanted flower that was was about to bloom. That it only blooms at a certain time and on a certain day and um, she went out there to witness it. That's all there is to this. She went out into the dead of night in an enchanted forest where there's all kinds of dangers. Uh-huh. Look at the fox. Okay. Yeah, the fox. Mm-hmm. There was danger. These, this fox was watching her. You see what I'm saying? And, it, and uh, they were going to try to get away with something here because this, this, uh, uh, it, it almost looks like maybe it's her fox or something that may was maybe trying to get away with this, uh, even though this is air. Um, wow. Okay. So like, was that her fox or her foxes that went and tried to get away with this against this uh, weaver of challenges? Because this is a challenge card. So there's the, there, you know, this is swords. She's swords. This is the, the, the fox. These are foxes um, here. And then this brings this all together, you know, with, with this. And um, 
doesn't work in a logical way. Um, but I'm just seeing this all intuitively. This is all very uh, intricately put together here. Uh, it, this is a complicated situation, apparently. So this, uh, I think this is as a fear for you. Uh, that See, this is in the reverse, though. This maybe you don't know what cho choice to make. Maybe you're afraid of confusion. Let me just check this in the book, see what else is, what pops out to me here. So this is the seven of visions, which be, which would be the seven of, okay, so here it is. Um, Mm-hmm. So this, the meaning behind this, which is not fully, it's upside down. So this is not fully manifested, but this is, um, your trials in the forest have made you doubt your course and you seek guidance from the ancient gazing bowl. Okay. That's what this is, is a gazing bowl. At first, you can see only a reflection on the dark surface, but as you breathe upon the water, images begin to appear, fragments of visions swirling and shifting. Okay, so this very much reminds me of your third eye, because when you close your eye and um, you let it flow, you'll see images flowing and shifting, coming and going. Um, so the gazing bowl is telling you that many futures are possible, but nothing has settled yet. This card is also an admonition against escaping into delusion. Your lack of direction may be the result of preferring fantasy to reality. If seeking divinatory guidance only makes you more confused, stop asking for now. Badgering the oracle will only muddy the waters. If you ask too many questions, you will get too many answers. So, um, this is in reverse and this is your fear card. So I think that you're uh, kind of afraid that confusion is going to uh, manifest. You may be afraid that um, there's uh, too many details. Like I was saying, this is a very, uh, it seems like a very complicated situation you've got going on here. Um, and you uh, may be afraid that they, there's going to be a lot of uh, confusion um, when it comes to this. But because this flower is here, it, it says that when you go into the forest, you look and you, you kind of revisit the lessons uh, that you've encountered into the, in the forest. And the one thing that shows up here is this flower. So this is the journey. This is the part of your journey through the forest that is, uh, and this is also at the root of this. I was going to say, this is the energy that's at the root of this. It literally is the card that is the root of all this, okay? And so it is, it is this journey, this journey of this person who uh, possibly tried to get away with something against this Libra or um, air sign, um, or Aquarius perhaps here. Um, yeah, but we got this Libra card here too. So, wow, this is very complicated. But yes, this, this, is, um, this is fear of confusion and not knowing which way to go. But it does, this is, this, this right here, these are connected. And this is definitely why you're afraid that you're, you, uh, the, too much information will cause confusion that will do this. Okay. So this is the, the potential outcome. And I say potential because free will changes everything. This is something that you can totally change. Okay. Now this is the aid of challenges. Now, whether this is you or these people that you're dealing with, somebody is, uh, about to be so scared that they don't know what to do. The, now the, um, the challenges is air energy, again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Uh, this is my deer in the headlights card. Okay. This is, um, where you're just so scared. You don't know what to do. Okay. So it, it could be since this is challenges and usually the suits, uh, 
to speak to each other. It, it could be that whoever this weaver of challenges is, um, it could be that maybe they find a truth, you know, especially if justice um, does come into the come into the um, equation here. Um, they may end up learning something that is uh, very confusing or scary to them, and then they just don't know what to do. Okay, um, this is when you're so scared you do nothing. But it's also when, you know, what is uh, fear? Fear is an illusion. Okay, look, this, this, that's why this is so, like she's out in the forest by herself at night. There's anything that could get her in this enchanted forest. Does she even have uh, a weapon? No. She's got some sort of hook here where she looks like she wants to maybe harvest this. or I don't know what she's doing with that hook there. Okay, but this, this person had no fear. No fear. This person may get caught in their head about fear. See, this is... Uh, it, yeah, like I said, somebody, probably this air sign, um, is going to, to, to eventually end up in an energy where uh, they don't know what to do because they don't know which way to go. Like I was going to say, the story behind this card is that she has been kind of a attacked on all sides um, by this uh, magical thorny plant. And every time she moves, it just moves in on her closer. It's, it's cutting her. It's ripping her up. Um, you know, so she doesn't know what to do. She's, she, if I move anymore, uh, it's going to rip me up. She's thinking, um, but if she doesn't do anything, she's just going to stay there forever. She's going to have to take her hands away from her eyes and figure out what to do, um, to defeat this illusion of fear. Uh, and that could be the, since these are magical plants, I'm feeling that's probably the way to get out of this is to stop feeling fear. To just force yourself to be brave. And I think that's when these thorns will automatically, magically retreat. Okay. Now, um, hmm. So this is what is at the, the underlying energy of all of this is some sort of destiny. Now this, like I said, this is the wheel of fortune. In this deck, it's called the enchanter's wheel. Okay. There's a key to this somewhere. I just heard. There's a key to this somewhere. And there's the hole to even though that's just like a, a little, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but um, I feel like that's where you put the key at this right now for this particular reading. This is an unmanifested destiny. Okay. You hear manifest destiny. I think you're trying to do that. I think that um, you or even this fire sign, since this is a, a fire um, a fire energy. It could be the fire sign uh, attempting to manifest something here. Okay. So there, there is something that is destined. However, it has not manifested yet. And that is the underlying energy of all of this here. Wow. This is, you know, um, this is, I am not a Taurus, I'm a Libra, actually, and uh, so this doesn't, these readings don't always make sense to me because, I, you know, the energies, the cards, I'm just saying what I'm feeling. Um, if this really resonates for you, uh, I wouldn't mind to know what all this is about, you know, put in the, uh, the comment section. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get a clarifier. Um, no, actually, I don't think so. I'm, I'm just because I don't know exactly 
doesn't mean that this isn't speaking to you. So let me know if this resonates to you. This is clear enough. Somebody, probably this air sign is going to just be very, uh, very scared. Um, but I, I think that once they uh, defeat that fear, they're going to know exactly what to do or things will just uh, work out for them magically because, it, it you know, things uh, change depending on energy. Everything is simply energy. So if you change your energy, you can change anything. So fairies, oh, okay, can I please? Oh, yeah, can I have one more, please? <laughs> I'm sorry if I laughed too loud in your ears, you guys. I I'm wearing um, earbuds for my microphone. Oh, okay. So you guys got four. Because, boy, they didn't let me uh, finish even speaking there. Because they're like, yeah, you, you're you running late here. You're at 45 minutes here. Okay. I try not to make these so long, but I channel so much now. It's ugh. Okay. Magical blessings. Whenever you're going, whatever you're going through. You're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. This reminds me of the three of cups. Uh, I just feel like there's friends too. Um, like you've got support here. Yeah, you can definitely bless others. This, this could be the energy you're trying to relate to these folks. You're like, if you just do this, you're going to be good. And they're, maybe they're just like, eh. okay, magical gateway. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown. Yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. Okay, so that's what this is. Okay, thank you for clarifying for me, fairies, because they told me you don't don't clarify. Yeah, because you're they clarified it for me. Um, the unknown. Yeah. Okay, come together. Yeah, magical blessings come together. Um, fairies like to be busy and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. Yeah, there is a lot of people here, isn't there? Also, you know, you've got this three of spells. This could, the three could represent three people as well. You do. You've got this air sign. You've got this fire sign. You've got maybe a second fire sign. And, and if this isn't you, you may even have a, a, an earth sign in here. Hidden depths. Something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expo expose what's hidden, we can become free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was saying. She's that she is going to find out something that will make her uh, afraid. Um, and apparently this is some sort of new beginning. And uh, whatever it is, this is what it is. Something deep, something that's been hidden, um, but hidden deeply, hidden depths. Um, that reminds me of water and emotions. So there must be, maybe somebody is hiding some deep love or some deep emotion and that's what's going to come to the surface or maybe something goes deeper than everybody here thought now let's ask the fairy sprites for a flower and your reading will be closed please don't forget to like especially if this resonated with you also um subscribe comment and um, also, please check out my books. Um, you can listen to the entire book one um, and see how you like it. I have not had one bad review. In fact, I've heard that people experience um, spiritual healing after reading it as well, which is basically what it's for. It's my part of my life purpose. Oh, you got two. So please check out my books. Okay, Gladiola, Glad. Strength of character and moral integrity. Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experiences of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved by Helen Keller. Okay, yeah, this sounds, uh, yeah, that is, you know, moral integrity, strength of character and moral integrity. So this must be what's going on here. Okay, and then, and then we have the sweet pea. Blissful pleasure. Follow your bliss and the universe will open doors 
Where There Were Only Walls by Joseph Campbell. Heck yeah. All right, Taurus. That's what I got for you. Um, that's, I hope you enjoyed your reading. See you next time.